Hey, Shinoko Go Baby, what's good, guys? Yoku here, and new Demon Slayer gameplay just dropped. Maybe not just because I'm like two days late, but that's not my fault. I really want to go over it, but not in the same sense that it's just like, oh, cool, gameplay. I kind of want to look more into the analytical side of things, similar to what I did in my last video, just about the gameplay overall, because I've seen slash heard there's a couple of things that happen within this gameplay of, I guess, maybe the players are starting to learn how to play the game a little bit better, and I want to go into that. So, we about to do it. So you guys actually don't get audio because I don't want to get copyrighted. So that works out for me. Um, maybe. I, I mean, if anything, I could literally just put the audio low enough so that it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we have it here. What I do notice off bat is that we don't have the demon stages. Like if we go back for a little bit, you see that. Hey, hey, don't do that. Just, just pause. Thank you. You see that they don't have the demon icon or I guess the sun icon, right? And I want to make another video talking about that, but just briefly mentioning it doesn't really have, um, maybe they're trying to remove the inclination that we will get demons. I don't know. We'll have to see, but it shouldn't be too bad, right? We shouldn't be too far off. We got Rengoku and Sabito with, uh, Mak Makamo, Makomo is her name and Murata, which shouldn't be too bad. But I, I want to see if these players are just a little bit more competent in how how they play the game right i want to see if they're doing combos um if they're dash canceling or jump canceling like a parry that parry was great go back that parry was really good i want to see that there's the air combo you can see the ball on the left too that oh it's so beautiful that's so beautiful so maybe uh, let me let me just kind of break it down right i know this probably isn't isn't your cup of tea but we're gonna get through it. When he goes in for the attack, Sabito can either block, push block, or parry. And a parry is very strong. This, just like I said in my last video, and I'll, I'll have a link for it somewhere up there. Parry creates a high risk, high reward scenario. If we slow this down just for a little bit so that I can show you guys how fast is 0.25? Yeah, 0.25 is pretty, pretty slow. Um, so he's doing all this stuff. He's doing his, you know, his crazy things and whatnot. Sabito is way back here. Bam. Right here is when the parry happens. And you see that it, it immediately guard breaks Rengoku and allows for an open, open combo to get started. And he has to use his, um, what do they call it? Emergency. He has to use emergency in order to get away. It, it takes away the entire assist bar, but that's the situation that I expect a lot. I expect a lot of situations like that to happen when competent players learn how to play the game and they learn what, you know, like what can be parried, what can't, when you should parry, stuff like that. Because now he's in a favorable position to where he doesn't have any assist. He can't use another emergency. He can't use pursuit. He can't call in Murata to do the cheer skill. He, he can't swap out to have Rengoku do any of it either because it's all shared by one bar. So if I were looking at this from a commentator's perspective, Sabito is in a really good position right now. Beautiful. You saw how he pushed block the end of that block screen. I, I, this Sabito player, whoever this Sabito player is, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Normally we don't get players that know what they're doing. This is really good. Look, I didn't know you could do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know you could do that. Hold on. Did he call in the assist, right? So he's going to attack. He's going to call in the assist from a Como. And he leaves her in like she stays tagged in. I didn't know they could they could switch like that because I haven't seen it before. I'm sure you guys might have seen it, but I haven't seen that in any gameplay so far. But I like that. Makomo's quick. Yeah, she, she's just like I said in my reaction video to her. She's a very fast character, but unfortunately, 27 hits that that did no damage. Maybe it was because of the way it started. Let me see. No, it started with a yellow bar, right? Yeah, it starts with a yellow bar, which is I'm going to assume yellow bar is probably average for your combo starters, but she's doing all these hits, not getting any damage compared to what, like what Sabito was doing earlier. He was doing half bar 
uh Rengoku does damage even Murata look at the damage Murata's doing right now this is way more damage and he's only done 18 hits yeah Makomo Makomo's gonna take some some skill not in the sense of you know she's not a, a viable character or anything like that but I mean like she's gonna take some skill to actually uh optimize optimizing her combos is gonna be really important or maybe her assist because she looks like she's going to be more of a, a set play uh, type character potentially and again this is these are all speculations guys I'm just saying things based off of my knowledge of fighting games and then applying it to how these characters function Sabito looks on his fuck he looks very strong I might I might be playing Sabito he looks really good he looks really good Rengoku's just really strong nine hits in and he's already done more damage than Makoto's 27 hit or Makomo's 27 hit combo Sabito is right there with him though as far as damage numbers the damage look at that damage 10 12 13 15 16 kill him kill him kill him oh so close if he would have had maybe like a super that was another period beautiful this Sabito player knows what he's doing these are the type of matches I I want to see a lot of this when the game comes out I want to see a lot of this I don't want to see a lot of mashing these cancels let me go back to about when the match starts here yeah bam 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 that's one dash cancel right so he does a normal attack into uh or not a dash cancel a special cancel into the move the move comes out he special cancels that move into what I'm I'm assuming this is an air dash that's way too fast of an action for it to be a jump and it's way too fast of an action for it to like be a, a ground dash that he jumped out of maybe maybe there's some type of frame canceling going on right there that we just you know they haven't told us in the game and the sabito player knows but that's something that that's nice when goku was able to that wasn't a parry that was a burst that's a that's a burst so it looks like we have burst in the game how did he do that was it no it wasn't meter I guess maybe he used meter to come down no I don't I'm, I'm not sure what happened here oh he dropped the combo okay I see what it is I see what it is I see he Sabito dropped the combo and Rengoku was able to parry the straight hit nice grab good grab okay so grabs are gonna leave you open for uh setting up some stuff so maybe being able to get behind your opponent or like call out your assist while you're in front of your opponent and then dash behind them yeah makomo's definitely gonna take a lot of work whoever becomes a solid makomo player i want a lot i want to watch a lot of their gameplay to see what it is they're doing and how they're optimizing combos but i think i'm really excited about demon slayer as as content goes right now because it's new everybody's learning you know and there's there's so much uh optimization that can happen with these characters it just uh it's gonna be really good it's gonna be really good so now we got shinobu zenitsu and nezuko nice okay yes sir yes sir good job zenitsu Oh, I was hoping that he he picked it up. Maybe he knew that the emergency was going to happen. I don't know. Because I want to see if Zenitsu will... Um, the Thunderclap and Flash. You guys knew what I was talking about with the, the stagger. I want to see if he can do that. Nezuko's fucking strong. God damn. She's not even an awakening either. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, there we go. Shinobu, the poison tick. No. All right, so Sh Shinobu's not using her poison. This one, this one's definitely gonna poison. I think this is level two. Or she just dies. I mean, that works out. That works out too. Okay, right into the action. <laughs> What? There's no way. Nah, 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 nah. Wait a minute. Go back. Go back. Did you see that damage? There's no way that's. Bro. Why?
There's no way she's going to get away with doing this much damage. How did she do that much? That's just nobody else's ultimate does that much damage. How did she do that? I love how you can miss Thunderclap and Flash. I really like that. All right, Water Wheel. Because then this is just. Bro. I, I might play with the school the school versions. I might have to play with the school versions because they got some destructive ultimates. Good emergency right there. Nice thunderclap. Good, good, good. All right, that was a counter. Good avoid. See, okay, after that, he could definitely... I feel like he should be able to pick up a combo after doing that. And I'm trying, I'm trying to see if the poison is still going, but it doesn't... It's not looking like Shinobu's using poison here. Subuari! Yo, Internal's gonna love that. <laughs> Internal's gonna love that. <laughs> Man. We're on to the next one. I, the one thing that I wanted to see a lot of with Shinobu was just the poison mechanic, and I didn't really get to see it. Maybe the timer is just really small, and it ends in between combos, which goes into what I said uh, previously. But I, I don't know. Tanjiro's strong too. Hinokami version? It, it looks like everyone's doing damage except Makomo. Like even Murata was doing more damage than her. But now, now they're just kind of jumping around in between, uh, you know, I guess parts of the match. I would much rather have seen every, every piece of the match though. Okay, emergency use just to get caught again. That really sucks. I, I like that you can get caught dashing around though. It's really going to enforce playing neutral and, and not just spamming dash back and forth like you do in Storm 4 because it looks like you can get caught. And if you get caught in the dash, similar to how uh, Kill a Kill does, it looks like it's going to count as a counter hit. You're a Suki Doji out here doing damage. I like that. That was hot. The, the gist of what I'm watching, right, is that Sabito player was insanely good for what we've seen so far. And there's, again, a lot of potential with this game. I think there's a lot to pick up on this game versus just any other arena fighter. It's, it's almost closer to Kill a Kill mixed with Storm 4. But um, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today was the analytical side of going over all these matches within that time frame that it, that it had. I'm really excited. Um, if there's any more of these match footages or anything like that that pops out, uh, tweet at me, Discord, whatever. You know, let me know. I'll keep my eye on the floor for a lot of this stuff. But two weeks. Two weeks. I'll see you later.